Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be shopping and doing a haul of my dream closet and wardrobe. I'm so excited. I saw this video go around a little while back and you guys already know I have a shopping problem. So I was like, let's just feed into it a little bit more and justify me spending money on a lot of clothes. <laughs> I've done some in-person shopping, some online shopping already and now we are going to go to the thrift store to find some more affordable pieces because I've been loving thrifting recently. Also, I would just like to point out the fact that I am not naked. Uh, I'm wearing a tube top. Maybe not the greatest idea to vlog in a tube top, but I promise I have clothes on. And if you're new here, you should totally subscribe. Click that big red subscribe button down below. And of course, you can follow all of my social medias, both on the screen and linked down below to keep up with me on other platforms. I'm currently sitting outside of my neighbor's house now, but before I start driving, I just want to talk about the things I'm gonna be looking for in my style. I feel like my style is very minimalistic, but comfortable and cute. Literally, the number one thing for me is if it's not comfy, I'm not gonna wear it. If I don't have to wear a bra, that's amazing. <laughs> if I can wear a sports bra, that's amazing. If it's shorts, I love shorts, but it's fall now, so we're gonna look for pants. I know, Katie and pants. I just got a pair of jeans that actually fits me for the first time in literally years and I wore them once and all my Instagram comments were like, Katie and jeans, Katie and jeans. So we're gonna look for fall pieces, jeans, flannels, long sleeves, sweaters, sweatshirts, everything under the rainbow. And of course, Katie will probably find some short sleeves and crop tops because that's that's my go-to. So let's head to the Goodwill now. And I'm gonna be bopping to Luke Combs' new songs. <laughs> just spend $65 at the Goodwill and I'm not mad about it. That was so fun. They had so much stuff and so much fall stuff. When I first pulled up, there was like 12 cars that were going through the donation side of Goodwill, which I don't know if you guys know this. I've showed it in my like vlog channel a lot. I donate all the time to Goodwill and I know a lot of people do. So that was awesome. It was packed and stocked and I got so much. Like, look at this big bag. This bag is huge. We're going to go home and I'm going to wash everything. And while it's washing, I'll show you guys all the rest of the stuff that I bought online. I'm buckled. I'm obviously home and I'm going to show you guys what my closet looks like right now because it's a little bit of a mess and there's a Lot of stuff in there like i said we're upgrading our style so here's my closet oh gosh this is a little personal on the left i have all my like nice shirts that are in color order because i'm a psychopath red orange yellow green blue purple and then we have a few dresses back here that i literally have never worn and then white black gray and tan tees are over here these are all my jackets that aren't crew necks or hoodies or sweatshirts and then here's all my crew necks hoodies and sweatshirts <laughs> i know i have a problem this is what i live in the most though and it gets really cold in georgia these were in color order, but I absolutely have no more space in here to be able to make them in color order. So we have tie-dye, red, orange, yellow, blue. I feel like green should be here, but blue is here. And then I have so many blue sweatshirts that they carry on over here. Then we have green, more, more yellow, maroon, gray, white, and black. And then more black over here. That's what the closet looks like. It's a bit of a mess. That's a tour of my uh, clothes. <laughs> Welcome to my corner. Like I said, I did get some stuff from the mall and online from Paxson and Forever 21 and Misguided. And I'm going to give you guys a haul. I don't know how good of an angle this is. I'm very sorry about that. My cousin was in town last week and I took her to the mall and we did some shopping. So first I went into Paxson. These are some clothes that I'm really excited about wearing that to definitely fit the fall vibe that I was going for and what I want to look like. I haven't worn them yet. I literally waited all week because I couldn't figure out how I wanted to style them and for school I just don't really care that much to dress up. I got this oversized tee. It says the High Sierra California with this really pretty just like sunset wave in the corner. Whoa, that's loud thunder. And then on the back it has this really pretty ocean design i really liked this and that's why i got it it's just a bigger version of the corner and this is just an oversized really nice like t-shirt dress i love 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 oversized tees that is the go-to i have so so many of them and paxton has really nice ones they are a little pricey but they're definitely quality and then i got another one this is what i really wanted so i got this one i didn't realize how big i got it this is an xl so this one's gonna be very oversized on me but i loved this it has this cool little like moon on the 
corner and the back says mysteries with these moon and star design I don't know I really liked the color the neutral tone of the taupe and the gray are very like fall vibes to me and I want to start wearing more colors like that I always tend to be someone who goes for bright color and bright colors like neons and pinks aren't really fall more taupes browns oranges so I liked both of these and I definitely thought that I could be wearing these for my dream fall wardrobe and they're very nice quality like you can always rely on Paxson to have nice quality stuff and then from there I also got these pair of socks I love Paxson's crew socks if you're a real one on my channel you just know my love of crew socks it's ridiculous like I pretty much only wear crew socks or ankle socks no in between that's it and I have so many pairs of them and this is by far the most expensive pair of crew socks I've ever bought I did not realize how expensive they were but I get a little awkward when I'm checking out and if I did not see the price and I'm checking out I'm not gonna tell them to put them back because that just that makes me uncomfortable these were $14 $14 for one pair of socks I guess it's okay because they are recyclable it says the socks made out of 98 8% recycled polyester and 2% other fiber. I guess it's good for the environment. It was not good for my bank account. They are adorable. It's this really pretty light blue color with the smiley face and smiley faces are literally my brand. With the right shoes, it could definitely bring an outfit together. Remind me never to spend $14 on one pair of socks ever again. And mom, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And then the last thing that I got from Paxson are these earrings from Brandy Melville. They are so cute. They're just these star ones, but they're like star hoops. I have so much jewelry from Paxson in the Brandy Melville section because it's done really well and it's not too, too overpriced. So excited to be able to style and wear all of these. Then and I went into Forever 21 and I have no idea why they gave me such a small bag. I bought three shirts and it fit into this tiny little red bag from Forever 21, which is okay. We're saving the environment. First, I got this black tiny crop top. I realized that I did not have any black tiny tops. That is such a staple. Like I said, I am such a person that loves to wear color, so I did not own not one black tiny top. And so I got this one. It's literally just a straight across neck top and it has this two little like ribs down at the front. I really liked the style of this top, so I got it again. I did not realize, but they were on sale, so I got mine both in a medium, and they were $5. Add any type of jacket, sweatshirt, zip up, pullover on top of these, and it can make or break an outfit. Tiny tops with a pullover are always the cutest. The last thing I got from Forever 21, I don't even like that much. Because of COVID, you can't try anything on anywhere, and I did not realize the fit of this shirt. I got this one. It just says Los Angeles with the skyline, and I visited LA in California for a business trip that the campaign got canceled for, so that really stinks. So many people continue to ask me about it, so maybe if you guys want to hear about it, I can do a story time on it. Besides the point, I thought this was going to be like an oversized tee, and I tried tried it on and it fits like a normal t-shirt. I absolutely hate the way normal fitted t-shirts look on me. It's either crop top or oversized so there's no in between. I might cut this shirt. <laughs> I've never cut a shirt directly from like buying it from a store. I feel like that's weird. I normally only cut thrifted clothes. This was also from their Forever 21 with a purpose line so everything's recyclable and made from like good ingredients. Great fashion, strong value, better quality. Forever 21 with a purpose. <laughs> and then I placed an order off of Misguided and I had never ordered from Miss guided before I'd seen their stuff in YouTube videos or sponsorships so I was like hmm let me place an order and it's very rare that I pay shipping for something online I hate paying shipping I think it's very stupid that's why I go to the mall a lot but I paid shipping and I got three things from misguided and let me just say how obsessed I am I waited for the package for 11 days and it came in and I opened it right before my photo shoot and I loved it I only got three things and it was still like $90 it's not like overly expensive I'd say it's definitely reasonable but it's more than if you were to go to forever 21 you might recognize these these are the pair of jeans that I wore at my Instagram photo shoot at the pumpkin patch with that black tiny top and a flannel over top. You guys know my hate for jeans, <laughs> at least my old hate for jeans. I've only owned one pair in the past, I think, like four years and it's just because my body is body's unproportional and I have long legs I'm 5'8 this is just how my body's built my waist is smaller than my hips so it's very hard for me to find jeans that actually fit my waist my hips and my legs for that case I hated jeans because I could never find any that made me feel good that fit or that I just liked in general I was on my skydid and I really liked this pair and I was like you know what let's just yolo it so I yoloed it got them on five minutes before we left for my photo shoot tried them on and I love them they fit amazing the quality is amazing they are so cute best jeans I've ever bought and they were only thirty dollars thirty dollars like this is not sponsored although I wish it was because I love these misguided jeans so this is what they look like it's just a light wash super super ripped mom jeans and they are the cutest they are straight down but they fit 
tighter in like the waist it's like tighter in your waist and thighs and then goes down to these mom jeans style they give me very Instagram vibes and I love 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 them so I will definitely be ordering some more that's what the tag looks like if you want to get the same ones and I am obsessed I will be wearing this so much this fall season because they are the only pair of jeans that I now own the main reason I knew of misguided was because of their playboy collection and I've wanted some like playboy stuff for oh, forever I just love the logo and I think it's super cute the only thing about their shop is that the sizes are different than US sizes you have to convert them so I wasn't sure about my sizes I got these gray playboy sweats that I literally love so much they're just gray with the logo the bunny logo and then they get tight at the ankle because they're joggers it's just their playboy misguided line and I love 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 them they're high-waisted and they have like a really thick band so it's so cute and they're so comfortable and thick like these are thick joggers that will keep me warm during the fall I got these in a US size 6 and they fit pretty well so I'm so excited about them I love these I'm gonna wear these to school next week and then I got this playboy bunny pink sweatshirt which I got this so big I did not realize that it already comes oversized and it's supposed to fit like a hoodie dress so I wanted it to be oversized so I got a US 8 and it is giant. Have you seen me wearing this? Yes, it is a hoodie dress. Yes, I did not know it and yes, I got it. Very oversized for me, which is fine because I love big comfy clothes. It's just a Playboy Bunny pink sweatshirt and it is so comfy and so thick as well. I love the material. They had matching sweats that I low-key want to get because that'd be so cute. I'm so excited about this. Misguided did an amazing job and I did a pretty good job picking out these pieces if I do say so myself. Those are all the things that I have to show you right now. My thrifted pieces are in the wash and once they come out, I am so so excited to show you guys what I got. I just took all of the thrifted clothing out of the dryer and I just got back from Cam's football game and it is absolutely pouring rain outside and I have my Raider Cheer rain jacket on because it's downpouring. This ring light has to be on because it is so dark outside. Look at this. You can't see anything and it's 7 p.m. It's a little concerning, but it's okay. Close this. No creepy neighbors. Going in no particular order. First, I got these green shorts that I really, really liked for comfy shorts or working out. I liked the color and the shape of them a lot. I have no idea the brand or anything. It just says so and the tag. I liked them a lot. They're very comf and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of them. Then I found a Nike tennis skirt. I love tennis skirts and so I found this beautiful red or kind of pink one. It has a little Nike sign at the bottom and it has pockets which is absolutely ridiculous. It's in such good condition. It's like their Nike golf line and it's just pink slash red with polka dots on it so I really liked the color of this and I think for working out it's gonna be perfect. I guess while we're on bottoms I can show you guys these Adidas Adidas pants that I thrifted. These are so dope. It's just black Adidas pants with blue lining on the outside. Everything is lined in blue. The waistband, the stripes down the sides. It has the two ties here and they're straight legged pants. I remember when these were like the biggest trend in middle school. Like people had these in every single color and I always wanted them. So I got myself some Adidas pants. I feel like track pants are very in this fall. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those. The last bottom that I got are more comfy pants, pajama pants. These are just some green plaid pants which again I'm pretty sure are just gonna be PJ pants they're so soft and comfortable but I think these were in the men's section I don't know very stretchy waistband and then they're just straight legged and since it does get cold at night these will be keeping me very warm now we get to do shirts yeah I'll start with just some oversized graphic tees that I got if you're late to the party I do live in Georgia and we support all of our Georgia teams over here so I did get an Atlanta Falcons shirt I have only one Atlanta Falcons shirts cuz I have so many I have Braves I have Bulldogs so I got this one it's really cute I might cry Drop it depending on the fit of it. We're not doing too well right now, but it's okay. I liked the gray color as well. I feel like I don't wear a lot of gray. And I did get another Falcon shirt. I liked the graphic on this one a lot. It has the logo on it and it's black. And I just noticed this. It says Publix Delivery powered by Instacart. So I guess they sponsored this shirt or something, but this one's very soft. And then on the completely other side of the spectrum, I was born and raised in Florida. And so my family goes for FSU, go Seminoles, even though we're not doing too well this season. But I really like this Florida State shirt. I think it was super cool. The Nike sign and then the big like football in the middle looks really sick and it's extremely oversized So I know it's very comfortable my favorite graphic tees for sports teams are always the ones that have like this little thing on the bottom This emblem embroidery like I know the shirt is comfortable if it has this because I have so many that have this on here Just an oversized comfy FSU shirt go Seminoles <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are all like the graphic tees that I'm gonna keep full length probably I'm not sure yet I might cut them who knows now we get into the really fun stuff I thrifted this beautiful Beautiful 
Nike running zip up and it is so pretty. It's such a like nice blue color with these pink detail on the zipper. When it's cold outside, running in Nike tank tops is not acceptable anymore because it's too freezing. So putting this on, I know will keep me warm and nice and toasty. I just got this in a size medium. Nike does everything well. So you know you're getting quality from it. And the fact that I got it at the thrift store, I'm pretty sure this was like seven bucks. So that's a pretty good deal to me. Then I got this long sleeve Nautica shirt. I really liked how soft it was. Like I said, comfort is everything to me so if it's not comfortable I will not be wearing it this is their Nautica sleepwear line but I just loved how soft it was I think I'm gonna keep this one full length because it is like long and oversized but I can definitely see myself wearing this to school with just leggings like leggings and a long sleeve are so nice especially when it's cold out I will definitely be falling asleep in class if I wear this because it is so soft like I wish you guys could feel it it feels like butter like that's how I would describe it this shirt is so sick this gives me like a um, schoolboy Harry Potter vibes. I've never seen Harry Potter. Don't come for me. I found this really cool, what do you even call this? Button up striped shirt. I love the detail right here. This little embroidered number nine and this dragon looked really sick. I love this. The sleeves are so nice. When sleeves cuff at the wrists, those are like my favorite. It makes me feel so like cozy and warm. It feels like a hug. I don't know if this is a thing for multiple people, but I have a thing where I cannot wear anything if it's tight on the sleeves. Like if the sleeves are touching my arms like this, I cannot do it. It makes me so uncomfortable. I hate it. I do not own anything that is tight on my arms. So I just know that this is going to be so comfy because it's so big on the arms. I've only ever met Avery who feels the same way that I do and we talked about it and I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody else feels like this. Then I got this short sleeve, which I'm definitely going to crop. I liked it a lot. It's just this really cool graphic New Balance striped shirt. It looks kind of boring, like plain and long. So I'm definitely going to crop this one. I just really like the pattern of it and the New Balance little logo gives it an extra little something something. Also incredibly soft. So we will definitely be chopping that one. And then Katie got a flannel. Katie loves her flannels. I can never find flannels that I like if they're not at the thrift store. You guys saw my one for my first day of school vlog on my vlog channel. That one was also from the thrift store. I found this beautiful one. It's just a blue plaid, which is so fun. I love the fit of this one as well. It's oversized. It's by the brand iZod, and I got mine in a size medium. Layering this with tiny top underneath and flannel is also so cute and always a go-to for the fall season. Tiny top with a jacket over top. It always works. I promise. And finally, this has to be my favorite or one of my favorite things I found at the Goodwill today. It's just so cool. It's not even that folly. I guess it can be fall. This pink bomber jacket. Oh my gosh. Katie loves her color. Katie loves her jackets. Katie loves zip up jackets and it's soft on the inside. I could not have asked for a better find. I have no idea this brand, but I got it in a size medium and it is beautiful. It is an ombre from like baby pink to hot pink to white. You can't try anything on in Goodwill, but I saw this and I was like, I just need to try it on. Katie, just try it on. Like, it's okay. Just try it on. You're going to hate yourself if you don't. So I tried it on and immediately put it in my cart. It was one of those things where I just loved it so much. That is everything that I got at the thrift store. I found so much good stuff. I feel like I updated my style so much. I feel like I did not have any fall pieces. I know I have sweatshirts and long sleeves and pants and so much good stuff. This just proves you do not need to spend a lot of money on pieces to find really good stuff. Just put your AirPods in, go to your nearest thrift store and ball on a budget. You can do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching all of these things. I love my clothes and everything that I got and hopefully the try on portions give you guys an accurate depiction of everything. Like I said, I love you so, so much and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe down below and follow all of my my social medias. If you follow my Instagram, you will for sure be seeing these pieces put to use on there. I've already worn a few of them. And if you follow my Instagram and you see me wear them, then you can comment. I know where that came from. <laughs> so that's so cool. We just hit 600k subscribers, which is so cool to me. Like insane that that amount of people want to watch me. So thank you so, so much. So, so grateful for all 600,000 of you. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below and become a Katester by clicking that little hashtag post notification bell. I haven't said that in so long. Turn on your hashtag post notifications. <laughs> and with that being said, I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace in the Middle East. Mwah.